Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining how to bypass the update required message that comes on your Roblox screen. Now, you might be using for the exploit for many other purpose. And once you get this message, you are not able to escape it. So let me quickly show you if I bring up my Roblox. So it comes for a while and then it give me a message update required. In order to continue the Roblox, you must update it first. Okay, so there is no option to escape it. So what you have to do, you need to close it. Then you will have to come to this website. All these three links you will find in the description. First, you have to download the HTTP Debugger Pro. Click on the download option. The downloading will be started. Same you have to do with the second one. You have to click on download. And then you also need to download the Roblox UWP file. So again, come here, then click on download. So it's around 150 MB, so it may take some time. So once it's all been downloaded, I will let you know what exactly you have to do next. And make sure that you do not escape any part because each and every part are very important. And if you miss them, probably it will not work. And meanwhile, guys, you can just hit the like button. It's absolutely free. You can subscribe to the channel so that I can bring more and more videos for you. Okay, so right now we can see we have downloaded all the file. So I will just click on the downloaded folder. So we have all these three files over here. Okay, so first what we have to do, we need to run the Roblox UWP file. Okay, make a double click on it. And then it will come up like this. That says Roblox is already installed. No worry, you have to click on reinstall again. Click reinstall. And then you can minimize it. Now next you have to double click on HTTP Debugger Pro. Double click on it. Click next. Check the box. Click on install. Click on yes. And once it will come up, it will ask you a few permissions. So you have to click on next, next, next. Keep clicking on it and then you have to click on start. Now on the top you will find that it says decrypt SSL traffic in a yellow tab. So you have to click on it decrypt ssl click on yes now once it's been done on the right hand top you will find the setting icon click on it then click on import click on ok and now you have to locate to the third file that we downloaded so that is in a downloaded folder by the name http bypass you have to select it and then you have to click on open now it says please restart http debugger so click on ok close it and again we will reopen it and we are all done this time if i bring up the roblox so you will find that i'm not getting any kind of error message now and it will be uh, coming up soon with all kind of my games it may take a while because it will check for everything and finally you can see i got the login screen so now if i sign in it will be loading up now and now i'm all done i'm ready to play my game if i click on my any of the game and the game will now be loading up so that's all guys for today hopefully you enjoyed this video found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye